Welcome to Delight Chat. Thank you so much for installing our app. The moment you finish the setup from installing it from the Shopify App Store and setting up your uh, email address and password, you land on this page. Uh, this video that you're watching is actually the onboarding video and you can easily access it later from the bottom right. So you can see the option called onboarding video to open it, just click on that. You can also browse our help center articles, contact our support and look at new features that are coming soon or been released uh, recently. Help center articles will help you uh, set up various channels in Delight Chat or maybe you have questions around how to do something inside the app like how to assign a ticket or how to add or remove tags or new fast reply templates. There are various questions you might have and the help center covers almost all of them. But in case you need extra support, you can always contact us. Now, let me take you through the interface of Delight Chat. Delight Chat is built for simplicity and ease of use, which is why our interface is everything you see is everything you'll be using on a day-to-day -day basis. Let me take you through it. From the left side, you have your inbox, you have your analytics, where you can see your overview of tickets and how many tickets were created, by support channel, assigned to team members, first response times, median first resolution time, uh, uh, sorry, closing time or resolution time. All of these analytics will show up here. And in the settings, you can uh, see various uh, features that you can enable, uh, invite your team members from here, or add new support channels from here, uh, add additional Shopify stores in case you are managing more than one, and various other things which I will take you through in a moment. Uh, but let's come back to the inbox. So the inbox is where you'll be spending majority of your time on a day-to-day -day basis. And from the left side, you have all the support channels that you have connected. Um, and then you have all your tickets, then you have the message bodies itself, and then finally data from Shopify. So right now we are in the Instagram channel. Uh, we currently support Instagram comments and Instagram DMs is coming by end of June. Uh, inside Instagram comments, whenever a new comment is made on a post, you can see the comment here. You can reply to it from here itself. You can even delete comments right from here itself. And then you have your Facebook page. Uh, same way, uh, if somebody writes a comment on a post, it shows up here. Uh, you can like or unlike a comment, you can delete a comment, or you can even start a messenger DM of, from a comment right here. Uh, messenger DMs are more straightforward, obviously. Messages come in and you just reply to them. Uh, and finally, you have your email. And you can connect multiple of these pages and emails, by the way. As you can see, I've connected two emails here. Uh, and this channel is for outside Delight Chat. What that means is maybe you have a phone number where your customers occasionally call you and you want to make sure you keep track of the reports that the customers are making. So you can create a channel called outside Delight Chat and create new tickets and save those issues so that you never forget to follow up with a customer. Right, so let's go to the email channel and I'll show you how it works. Whenever a new ticket comes in, by default, it is unassigned. However, you can set up automation rules like if the ticket contains certain words or maybe for every new ticket, assign it to a certain team member or even assign it to a group of team members and our system will intelligently keep assigning it to people and distributing the tickets. Your team members will be also be able to share, uh, put, put up their statuses like if they're online, then they will get uh, new tickets assigned, but if they're offline, they won't get new tickets assigned to them. So here we see the email itself and you can see that somebody wrote an email called, a customer wrote an email, is my order shipped? Can you share the tracking number? And this reply actually is an automation reply, uh, which went out through the automation rule system. What it did, did is it looked for this customer, which is Preetam at Delight Chat, and it found that Preetam at Delight Chat is an existing customer in your Shopify store. It found its latest, latest order ID. It found that the order has already been fulfilled and the tracking number and links were found. As a result, this automation rule, which is meant for auto replying with the tracking link, got fired. I'll show you how uh, the automation rules are set up in a moment, uh, but you can set up rules like these. The, uh, the same rule also automatically added these tags so that you can track which were automation based uh, uh, replies. And the same rule can also assign this ticket to someone, although in this case, I did not set that up. You can also reply to customers directly, obviously by typing something out, or you could just click on fast reply, which lets you look at uh, create and save common response templates. These templates could be snippets of text, like maybe your uh, greeting or maybe the last paragraph you send as a thank you or uh, for, for your business kind of message. Or you can have like a whole message uh, based on the kind of queries that people ask. So maybe people are asking for the tracking link. So you can even manually respond using a 
template like this, which contains all of these variables, some of which is coming from Shopify. So in this case, the last order number has been detected. So it shows up here, last order tracking number, tracking ID, uh, tracking URL, everything is showing up from Shopify. And in case the data is not available, we will tell you that this data was not available. Uh, on the right side itself, you have your Shopify data. You can search for an order ID, uh, the order that we're currently looking at. You can search by name of the customer, email, phone number, and then you can view all their data, like the tags, notes, shipping address, order details, everything right here. We are working on an update where you will be able to edit, cancel, refund, or duplicate, or even create new orders within the live chat. It's expected uh, early July. Uh, but right now this will take you inside your Shopify admin. Uh, another handy feature that you have here is you can write internal comments to your team members asking them, hey, can you help me with this? And they will get a push notification informing them that they have been uh, tagged in a ticket. That push notification will also show up in the notifications panel on the left. And they can now have a conversation here. Like maybe uh, you ask your team member that, can you share the tracking details? and your team member could just reply back with a screenshot and then you can download that screenshot and just reply to the customer from here itself. So you wouldn't have to go anywhere outside this ticket to resolve the issue around the ticket. Uh, sometimes maybe you have to involve someone external to your organization. You can just forward this email right here. It'll create a separate thread, just like you would in your email client. Uh, suppose you're using Gmail or something. And then you can have the conversation with them and then go back to your uh, customer's original message and then reply to them from here so that they only see the uh, his email, uh, email history from that point onwards. A uh, little more on the overall uh, uh, setup of the uh, setup of the live chat. So when a ticket comes in, it's unassigned like I told you. And once it gets assigned either automatically or manually by you or someone in your team, it goes to the assign tab where you can see all the tickets and who it's been assigned to. But individual team members don't need to go to the assign tab they can simply look at the assign to me tab. Uh, since I'm the user who's logged in, I can see my assigned tickets and I can just go through all of them one by one. And as tickets get resolved, uh, all you need to do is click on close ticket, which simply means this ticket is no longer, uh, does no longer require a reply from you and the issue has been resolved. And the number keeps uh, increasing or decreasing based on that. If you go down further, you'll be able to see all the tags in the system. For example, if I were to add this tag here called refund, you'll be able to see that the refund tag here has a count of one. What that means is there is one ticket in the whole system currently uh, with the tag refund that is not yet closed. And if I were to close this ticket, this count will uh, get updated. So tags are a very easy way to organize your uh, emails and uh, tickets from all channels and also keep track of how many types of issues, uh, how many issues of each type you have currently being managed in your system. So that's mostly about the interface. You have a few other things here and there, like you can mark a ticket as unread or you can archive a ticket, which is similar to delete. And you can even compose new emails from here, select one of your connected email addresses and send it to someone just like you would compose a new email. So that's about the interface. I'll just quickly take you through settings. Like I said earlier, you can invite new team members from here. Just click on the invite team member button and fill in the details. They will receive an email. Uh, you can even select whether you want to give them admin access, which means they can invite other team members and also decide who can see which channels. So if I were to remove some of these channels, this team member will not be able to see these channels inside Delight Chat when they log in. Uh, you can add new support channels from here. Just click on add new channel. Uh, clicking on uh, add new Facebook channel is very simple. Click on connect Facebook. It will open a pop up, ask you to log into your Facebook account. Very straightforward. Just select the pages uh, and Instagram accounts that you want to connect to Delight Chat. Adding new channel for an email is also super straightforward. Uh, we use an email forwarding setup and there are guides for various email providers. For example, if you're using Gmail, just follow this guide here. There's a text guide and a video guide and the setup time is roughly two to three minutes. Uh, you might also have to set up DNS records, which is basically uh, setting up these three uh, name and value records in the domain host, which is where you bought your website domain, www.yourwebsite.com domain from. Uh, all you need to do is create three entries and copy paste uh, type C name, this value and this value, three of these entries and verify DNS. 
uh, again, guides for different website hosts where you might have bought your domain are available here. Why this is important is so that when we reply via delight chat, the reply goes back from your email address and DNS records ensure that we have the permission to do so. Uh, earlier, I'd spoken about automation rules, which you can set up from here. And the rule that I had set up was if a new email comes in and if the email contains the words tracking number, but does not contain the word cancel, then send a reply automatically with this message body, add those tags, which you saw automation and order tracking. I can even add more actions like assigning the ticket to someone. You can use automation rules to automatically archive tickets. Uh, this could be used to archive emails, maybe something like no reply at xyz.com. That's not really a ticket and you don't really want to see it in your uh, delight chat interface. You don't have to manage it. So you can set up an uh, automation rule that says uh, the when an email comes from xyz at uh, gmail.com, then automatically archive the ticket. Fast replies is where you set up various uh, templates for your fast replies. You can delete existing templates, create new ones, uh, or you know duplicate the existing ones and make your own. And these are all the variables available. Email signature again is straightforward. The signature that gets applied to every email, which you can modify right before replying. Uh, email signatures can be dynamic so that you can maybe the person who's replying might be different sometimes if somebody took over. Uh, so this way, the customer always knows who they're speaking to. So you could use full name or first name, you could have user role, and you could have your brand name as a static uh, text written here because that doesn't change. Um, and yeah, business hours is the last thing which you need to look at where you set up the online hours. And the only implication of this is in the automation rules, you can set up a rule to set send an automatic response whenever somebody uh, creates a new ticket. And you can set a separate response when somebody creates a new ticket outside of your business hours. Maybe you want to tell them, hey, we'll respond to you within you know, eight hours or 12 hours. But if somebody messages you within business hours, you want to respond faster. So you can set up different templates based on this. There is no other implication of business hours other than that. And finally, plans and usage is where you can see your usage based on your number of tickets. Tickets are built based on how many tickets you actually respond to. You only get charged or billed for a ticket where that you respond to, not for any other action like archiving it or deleting it or something, because that's not when you had a conversation. Uh, it'll show you how many tickets you are on in your current plan. If you have exceeded your quota by any chance, your plan start date and when your usage will get reset for the next month. Uh, and you can choose your plans from here. So that's the live chat. Let me know if you have any questions. You can contact us from support on the right. And I hope you have a great experience. Thank you so much.